Okay, we are picking up where we left off, which is we are going to edit the sidebar. But before we do that, you'll need to go and look at your module. It's module one. Scroll down to number five. Look at your checklist, unit plan check checklist. I've already opened it. Here it is. So go ahead and do that. You might want to hit pause while you find it. So this is your wiki project based unit plan checklist. Now this tells you exactly what to do on your wiki. And you'll work on this throughout the course. Now before you freak out about all this stuff that you have to put on your wiki listen to me this is not this is not new material that you're going to be creating just for your wiki essentially every thing that you see on here is an assignment that you will complete during the course so whenever you complete a an assignment in the course you'll just find where you're supposed to place it on this page and just put it on that page in your wiki that's it you aren't going to be creating new content from scratch for your wiki. So here it is, and we are going to edit the sidebar. Here is your sidebar. And it may look like this. So you might have to scroll down and find it. So I'm going to click this edit the sidebar link, and that's what we're going to do and it says on your checklist it says on the sidebar create the following pages these are the pages you are to create front page unit overview I'm going to delete this text unit page or excuse me front page unit overview resources websites reflections resources websites reflections okay now we are going to link them to pages the front page already exists find on the on the top find the little globe it has a chain at the bottom of it if you scroll over it it says insert edit link so click that link type is right we do want a PB works page but the page is wrong we don't want a new page for this one because the front page already exists so click the drop down box scroll down to front page now we're doing this because this page already exists so we're just linking to it click OK these links are links to pages that do not exist yet so we will create them highlight unit overview click on this link again with a globe PB works page new page that's what we want page name unit overview overview click OK and do the same thing for resources websites reflections pay works page new page resources and we are done for now so click save there we go okay now this is our sidebar if you look here here is your sidebar down here. So I'm going to go to the front page home. You can go through it that way, or you can click on this link here, and it takes you right back to this page. So the front page already exists. We need to create these pages. So let's click on Unit Overview. And it will take you to create a new page. It already it's already ready for you so all you have to do is click create page your unit overview page so let's look at our list again what goes on here so on the unit overview page I'm just gonna highlight this stuff what goes on this page just so I'll remember hit uh, copy if it'll copy it there we go and paste click this see this um, no, 
this board here click paste clipboard allow access allow access there we go so this is what you'll put on your page a brief overview of your unit the standards that you take from Alex and you will complete this in module 2 objectives for your unit plan you will complete this in module 2 uh, your newsletter slide share let's see if I can remember this one I, think, I want to say it's module 4 yep module 4 so this was done in module 4 uh, your action plan document uh, this is what you'll be working on throughout the course in Intel and this overview of your unit you'll actually do this in your SlideShare newsletter okay <clears throat> So that gives you an idea of, of all that stuff. So hit save. Now we are going to go to resources. Again, you've got to create the page, so click create page. Let's go back to the checklist. Resources. Let's copy that and click on the clipboard again okay the link to your personal web page that is the webs assignment it's in module one um, your CFQ survey I believe that is in module two your three assessment instruments that's module three Uh, the newsletter again I don't know why they make you do it twice but that's what we're gonna do so it's module 4 oops and I believe the Twitter is also module 4 let's take a look yep module 4 And that's it for that page. Let's go to the next page, which is websites. Create the page. Let's go to our checklist again. Okay, a link to your I keep bookmarks, and that is in module five. The five websites. Now you can um, you can use the same websites that you put in your I keep bookmarks. So keep in mind these are two different things. You can link to your IQ bookmarks and the five individual links that you put there. So you'll have to do that. And we'll take a look at the next page Reflections, which is really your live journal and I think your Thinkfinity plan. Okay, create a new page. All right. Copy live journal. Okay, your live journal, you work on this throughout the course. Um, upload and link your Thinkfinity integration plan. That is in module five. Save. And let's go back to your front page. I'm going to edit this. Welcome to my unit plan. <clears throat> 